Good morning, dear hearts. We are on lesson 156. Please subscribe. It's a lovely lesson. I walk with God in perfect holiness. So I walk with God. We can see that this is really a continuation from yesterday's lesson because yesterday's lesson ended with us uh, having the acknowledgement that we walk with God and to God. So today I walk with God in perfect holiness. And there are many, many lessons from our first 50 and others as well, more recently, that um, all really blend into today's lesson. This is a beautiful lesson that we are weaving into that spiritual tapestry. So today's idea but states the simple truth that makes the thought of sin impossible. In lesson uh, 36, that my holiness envelops everything I see, told me that I am sinless. So sin is indeed impossible. It promises there is no cause for guilt and being causeless, it does not exist because we are sinless. It follows surely that the Basic thought, so often mentioned in the text, ideas leave not their source. Um, if this <laughs> mentioned in the text, that ideas leave not their source. If this be true, how can you be apart from God? And in lesson 45, which God is the mind with which I think, uh, nor do thoughts you think with the mind of God leave your mind because thoughts do not leave their source. If this be true, how can you be apart from God? How could you walk the world alone and separate from your source? Of course, we could not. And God goes with us wherever we go, which we will bring in again. We are not inconsistent in the thoughts that we present in our curriculum. And that's one of the beauties of this course, that it is completely consistent and constant. It does not contradict itself ever. Truth must be true throughout if it be true. Truth is true and nothing else is true from a recent lesson. It cannot contradict itself nor be in parts uncertain and in others sure. We cannot have trust and doubt together. We cannot have certainty and uncertainty together. They contradict each other. You cannot walk the world apart from God because you could not be without him because God goes with me wherever I go. He is what your life is. Where you are, he is. There is one life, that life you share with him. Nothing can be apart from him and live. And um, again, from lesson 41, we had the the um, reminder, the recognition, the awareness that the source of life goes with you wherever you go and the source of joy is with us wherever we go. And light and life go together. Yet where is he? There must be holiness as well as life. No attribute of his remains unshared by everything that lives and everything that lives lives because of God. What lives is holy as himself because what shares his life is part of holiness and could no more be sinful than the sun could choose to be of ice, the sea elect to be apart from water, or the grass to grow with roots suspended in the air. You know, all of these images that I have made, but yet I've never made the image of the roots of grass growing in the air. There is a light in you which cannot die. And in lesson 44, that God is the light in which I see, we had the awareness that light reflects life. And also there was lesson 15 that told us about the little light edges. When we begin to see those, that that is indeed the beginning of vision. And uh, lesson 15 was thought, my thoughts are images that I have made. There is a light in you which cannot die, whose presence is so holy that the world is sanctified because of you. All things that live bring gifts to you and offer them in gratitude and gladness at your feet. And this is some lovely imagery here. The scent of flowers is their gift to you. The waves 
bowed down before you, and the trees extend their arms to shield you from the heat and lay their leaves before you on the ground, that you may walk in softness while the wind sinks to a whisper round your holy head. I am blessed as a son of God. The light in you is what the universe longs to behold. All living things are still before you, for they recognize who walks with you. I walk with God in perfect holiness. The light you carry is their own, and thus they see in you their holiness, saluting you as Savior and as God. Accept their reverence, for it is due to holiness itself, which walks with you, transforming in its gentle light all things unto its likeness and its purity. My holiness envelops everything I see. This is the way salvation works. As you step back, the light in you steps forward and encompasses the world. I will step back and let him lead the way. And God, again, is the light in which I see. It heralds, as you step back, the light in you steps forward and encompasses the world. It heralds not the end of sin in punishment and death, in lightness and in laughter, that again, in laughter that and sin is gone. And again, in lesson 41, that, uh, that God goes with us and we can afford to laugh at fear thoughts knowing that God goes with us wherever we go. And in laughter is sin gone because its quaint absurdity is seen. It is a foolish thought, a silly dream, not frightening, ridiculous perhaps, but who would waste an instant in approach to God himself for such a senseless whim? Yet you have wasted many, many years on just this foolish thought. The past is gone. The past is gone. It can touch me not with all its fantasies. They keep you bound no longer. The approach to God is near. And in the little interval of doubt that still remains, you may perhaps lose sight of your companion and mistaken him for the senseless ancient dream that now is past all of my illusions, my dreams, my my uh, uh, thoughts uh, that are not worthy of the Son of God have all been gone. They've dropped away. Who walks with me? This question should be asked a thousand times a day till certainty has ended doubting and established peace. Certainty and doubting cannot go together. We establish the certainty, the truth of who we are. Today, let doubting cease. God speaks for you in answering your questions with these words. And God's voice speaks to me all through the day. I walk with God in perfect holiness. I light the world. I light my mind and all the minds which God created one with me. And here is the extension of light and love from our ministry to the entire sonship, all of our brothers. So in this one lesson, we have remembered that ideas leave not their source, that truth is true and nothing else is true, that there is one life and, and one love and one mind. There is a light in us that cannot ever be extinguished. And we have answered again the question of who walks with us in perfect holiness, and it is indeed God and a reminder that the past indeed is gone. It is not here. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope this helped. I hope you uh, could see the weaving of the old with the new into our beautiful, beautiful tapestry of spiritual truth. Um, please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment, please pray. Pray for us to hear God's voice today and to be still enough to do that. Namaste.